This is part of the Once Upon a World board book series. This is Rapunzel by Chloe Perkins and illustrated by Archana Srinivasan. Just a gorgeous cover. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Rapunzel. Rapunzel had long, beautiful hair and a lovely voice. She lived by herself in a tall tower on a hilltop. When Rapunzel was a baby, a witch had taken her away from home, far away from home, through the forest into this tower. Rapunzel was never allowed to leave. When the witch needed to visit, she would call out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Rapunzel would throw down her long braid and the witch would climb up to the tower window. Rapunzel was lonely in the tower by herself. Sometimes a mouse or a bird would visit her, but she longed for a real friend. One day, a prince was riding through the woods when he heard a melody coming through the tower window or from the tower window. He thought, there must be a girl up there as lovely as that song. Suddenly, the witch appeared. The prince hid in the bushes. He watched her call for Rapunzel and then climb up her hair. The prince waited for the witch to leave and then he too called, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Rapunzel let down her hair. But when she saw the prince in the window, she gasped, Who are you? She asked. The prince bowed and introduced himself. Then he and Rapunzel began to talk. They talked for hours. Rapunzel told the prince about life in the tower and the prince listened. He was falling in love. The prince began to visit Rapunzel every day. She loved when he told her stories about the outside world. He talked about his horses and the beautiful streams he liked to walk along and the little village nearby. Rapunzel wished she could see what was beyond her tower. Come with me to my kingdom, said the prince one day. The witch will never let me leave, Rapunzel sighed. The prince took her by the hand and promised to help her escape. Later that day, the witch saw the prince climbing down Rapunzel's hair. We will leave tomorrow, he called up to his love. The witch was furious. As punishment, she cut Rapunzel's long, beautiful hair. Then with a wave of her wand, she cast Rapunzel from the tower deep into the forest. The next day, the prince returned. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair, he called. Rapunzel's beautiful hair came tumbling down, but when the prince climbed up to the window, the witch was waiting for him. The witch put a curse on the prince that made him unable to see. Blindly, the prince escaped from the tower. He called Rapunzel's name, but she was too far away to hear him. He wandered the forest, searching for his lost love. Many days passed. The prince had almost given up hope. Then one day, he heard a lovely melody. It was Rapunzel. He was sure of it. Rapunzel, he called out. Reunited, Rapunzel and the prince embraced. When Rapunzel learned that the witch's curse had made the prince blind, she wept and wept. But as Rapunzel's tears fell onto the prince's face, something magical happened. Her tears broke the witch's curse. The prince could see again. Rapunzel and the prince returned to his kingdom. There, far from the witch's tower, they lived happily ever after. The end. All right, we are going to do the sneezing song from Jim Gill sings the sneezing song and other contagious tunes. 
Here we go. Please don't feed me black eyed peas. You know what they will do. For if you feed me black eyed peas, I'll have to sneeze. Uh, uh, uh. Please don't feed me macaroni and cheese. You know what they will do. For if you feed me macaroni and cheese, Please don't feed me chocolate chip cookies. You know what they will do. For if you feed me chocolate chip cookies, I'll have to sneeze. Uh, 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 time tonight. I hope you and yours have a fantastic week. See you next time.